morning. My name is Mrs. Baumgart and I'm the business and videography instructor here at Capitol High School. As you see, we're currently doing a little bit of renovations because this school year we are bringing back the time-honored tradition of CTV starting this week. Now, while we are remote learning, I'm going to be anchoring and building all of these stories, but eventually I'm going to be passing the power on to the students and let them create a news program for them. So the WVDE released their new map this weekend and Kanawha County Schools is in Orange County. That means we will be remote learning and there's some different guidelines happening with sports. You're going to need to contact your coaches or your teachers in order to figure out what the plan is for each of your individual sports. Here's what remote learning looks like for us this week. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday is A day and you will go to 1st, 3rd, 5th, and 7th. Tuesday and Thursday is B day and you will go to 2nd, 4th, 6th and 8th period. Next, we're going to start a brand new segment where we're going to introduce different teacher departments here at Capitol High School to you all. So we're going to start this week with my department, the Business CTE department, but we're hoping every week that we can introduce you to a brand new group. What a fun way to introduce some of our teachers to you. Next for you, we've got a technology tip from one of our senior students, Mr. Christian Gist. Hello everyone, my name is Christian Gist. And downloading a PDF from Schoology can be unfamiliar to some. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do that. Okay, first off, you should go to Schoology and then click on the class that you need to download the PDF from. Click onto the unit that you have to go to and then click on the assignment. You press view attachments and then you click on the assignment. And then at the top right corner, you see a little arrow with a half box under it. Once you click copy to doc scan, it'll take you straight to the app. There you will be able to write on it by clicking on the pencil icon, then pressing the text icon once you open that up. Whenever you're finished writing, remember to always save it or all your progress will be lost. And press select whenever you're ready to submit and then click on every single page and then at the bottom left, click on the export button and then click on the open in as a PDF. From here, you want to scroll all the way to Schoology and then click on it. Once you're on Schoology, make sure to press submit to assignment and then click on the exact class that you want to go to and then once you're there, click on the specific assignment. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you have any more questions, just ask your teacher. Thank you so much for sharing that tip with us, Mr. Gist. Next, we're going to bring back some old traditions. We've got ourselves the word of the week, and MC Cougar is going to be sharing that with us right now. The word of the week, the word of the week. The word of the week, the word of the week is contradict. This word is a verb. This word is a verb. This word is a verb that means to be in contrast with. Here's how you use it in a sentence. The camera footage contradicts his alibi. It contradicts his alibi. Your mission is to use this word throughout the week until you become a master. Comment your example sentences and maybe I'll share those next week. Hey, MC Cougar, how are you feeling? A little tired after all that dancing. Yeah. I bet. Well, is there anything else that you want to say to the, everyone before I sign off on CTV? Yes, I do. Hey, Cougar fam, I know you've been missing the joke of the day since we started quarantine, so I've got a good one for you. How many tickles does it take to tickle an octopus? Tentacles! <laughs> and that's CTV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Miss B, and I want to remind you that everybody is a somebody at Capitol High School.